welcome back and in today's video I will be showing you four really cool creations that you can build yourself to help make your home cool. So without further ado, let's just get right in to number four. Okay, so here is number four. So, if you did not know already, this is a napkin holder where you can just slide on in some napkins. And voila, you have a perfect little napkin holder. Um, I built it by um, just layering some plates, adding some bricks for the foundation, um, using some tail pieces, some slope bits, and some textured bricks for some detail. Um, pretty much the same thing on the other side. And in the bottom, I just have some uh, flame orange yellow tiles because I think it looks cool and I have a lot of those. Um, so you can use whatever color. You can even have it be white and the rest of it for me is white. So if you are wondering what these bits are, well, if you want to, you can take off these regular tiles, and if you are using this with family members, you can just add on little things or symbols for them. So here's a palm tree. We can also have a little uh, flower to stick on there. We flip this around. We can put on a little music note. And we can also have a Lego piece. So that's just a fun way of customizing this. So yeah, that's number four. Let's move on to number three. Next up for number three, we have this nifty little container, which you can use to hold your remotes. So I just have that one in there right now, but you can hold any size of remote. Let's just take this one for example. You can also hold that one. So you can hold a bunch of different remotes in there. You can make it bigger, smaller for your liking. And um, yeah, I just de decided to tile it off at the top. I built it up with some basic bricks, but I added some uh, little stripes with a different color of blue. I used some sloped bricks at the front to make it kind of curved down. And then just some plates at the bottom. You can tile it um, up in there if you want to. I decided not to. But yeah, that's this one. But this holder for remotes will lead in perfectly for our next one which is a little bit bigger speaking of remote holders if you have a lot more remotes and a lot of little gaming things you can build this giant uh thing to put your um, your little remotes in. So let's start out at the bottom. I used some boat hole pieces to make the base. Um, and then I just used some sloped bricks. And again, I have some blue striping so that these two can kind of go together. And so, yeah. And it's pretty much the same on the other side if we just turn that around. And up here, we have a place to store some Wii remotes. Yes, I know I'm an oldie for having Wii remotes, but yes. So you can have your little Wii remote on in there, and you not only have room for one, you have room for two, and you also have their little backs in there as well. And then turn this around to the back. You also have a place for your little nunchuck, for your, your remote. And you can modify 
and it's designed to fit any modern uh, PlayStation controller, Xbox controller, etc. for uh, to fit those holders. Um, and then this little thing, you can pop that off, and you have some batteries in there, in case you want to use batteries for your Wii Remote, so you can just slide those on in when you're ready to game. And not only do you have pair for one, you have another pair in there, which are easily accessible, with a little finger slot, and you can just plop those on in, put the cover back on, and you would never know they were there. And then most obviously, we have two places for remotes. We have room for one smaller remote and room for one big remote. So that is this one. Let's move on to number one. Undoubtedly my favorite one, we have what I like to call um, your desk or an organizer 2000. So this is a giant desk organizer that I decided to build. I built it in rainbow colors because I thought that would look cool. You can build it in whatever color you want. I just decided to build it like this. And so let's get into the details. So starting around the front, we have a little space to hold different types of dry erase markers, sharpie markers, and all your different types of markery needs. And here, when you feel like your lips are a little dry, you have area for some things to make them, uh, like you can put lipstick in there, you can put um, lip gloss, chapstick, stuff like that. And then, if we move up here, we have room for some pens. You can just stick on in there. And then over here, we have room for um, some paint brushes for painting. You got big ones, small ones, flat ones, all the paint brushes in there. And then if you turn this all the way around to the back, you have room for a little eraser. And then you have this big old pot for pencils. You can fit much more pencils than I have in here right now. But yes, you have a big place to place your pencils. And then around here, I have a place to put some scissors. In the design I had, I could not fit the scissors blade down, so I had to figure out a way to fix that. So I just made a simple sheath. It's just uh, two uh, plate stick slides on there, and it keeps people safe from uh, hitting their hand against it. And also, you can't just remove them so they're not going to fall out willy-nilly. If you look in closer, you can see that there is this little thing that you can pull that kind of keeps it in place. Let's just remove those extra bits. You can remove it, and now you can access your scissors. So I just thought that was a pretty cool little thing that you can do. And then if you don't have room for something that you think you might need, you have this little pocket where you can put sticky notes, spare erasers, and even a brick separator if you want to. And if we return to this middle area, you can see that there is this big block. Well, it actually has a purpose if you have a pencil. That is looking a little bit blunt. Looks like you need to sharpen it. No worries. You can just pop this a little bit off. And inside, you have yourself a little pencil sharpener. So, got a pencil. You want to be a bit sharper. You can just stick it on in. You don't even have to hold it. You just sharpen away. And then, soon enough, your pencil will be a lot sharper than it was going in. Let's say you need to get all those shavings out. It has an easily removable top. 
and then you can just shimmy it on out. It is a little bit of a tight fit, so I do recommend taping it, but to get at the contents, you can just easily remove the tape, like so. There you go. So yeah, that is the pencil holder 5000, and so I hope you enjoyed this video, and you can build any of these that you want. I hope you guys have tons of fun, and keep building.